All right, I think it's time to put some beams in here. We are on the main floor, and uh, the first thing we need to do is see what type of uh, beams we have. So let's close off our views. Let's go to families. Let's go down here to structural framing. And all we've really got in there is a wide flange W12 by 26. That's what the template file came with. Uh, trusses, Pratt gable, 12 inch not much in columns. So we need, what we're going to go do is load in a, um, not a beam system, we're going to load in uh, some beams and some posts and we're going to do it in wood so we want to go do that. So what we're going to do is just go to our insert tab and we're going to say load family. Basically load family. Search, uh, sort by alphabetical invert that, double click on structural, then we go to framing and then we go to wood and we want uh, a glue lamb western species I suppose looks good and what we want to do then is I think that's the only one, it's going to ask us for some sizes so this is a um, a type library which is a txt file which accompanies that family and it's really easy to make these on your own when you have lots of different types instead of loading all the types you can hand pick them and this is extremely easy to create your own table externally so what we want is we want something that is it's going to be a flush beam so we don't care about the width the you know the engineer is going to size that but we're going to go in and say well Let's go um, to a 5 and 1.125 by 13 and a half because that will get tucked up in there. Okay, so that works good and we hit OK. So now we can, that beam is now loaded, structural framing, and now we have that, that beam inside of there. Okay, what else do we need? We need some columns. So let's go load family back to structural, uh, columns, wood, uh, glue lamb western species again, and let we, our walls, the core of our walls are four inches so we can't go more than four. What do we have there? We have a 3.125 by 27. Okay hit OK and if we need a bigger column we could have also changed the size of these walls so now under columns we have a new column you can pick or size whatever you know you want okay framing wise so those are good and then we're also going to need some concrete columns for the um, piers underneath so we might as well do that as well load family structural columns concrete concrete square hit OK and that one just comes in with what columns square comes in with a 12 by 12 18 24 and 30 and you can create your own as well so that is all I need for now so I'm going to say OK so now I'm gonna go inside of here and I'm going to uh, go to my structural tab and I'm going to draw a beam beam I'm going to pick here. I'm going to, there it is, my 5 by 125 by 13.5. Looks good. Okay. Now, where is it going to go? Well, I'm drawing it here. I'm on the um, main floor. Okay. I'm on the main floor. So by default, it's going to place it on the main floor. Okay. And it says here, oh, click in here. Let's try that again. Beam. Okay. As I draw it, it says, top of second floor I think because I might have been playing around with it beforehand so the fact is what we need it to do is we need it to be top of second floor minus three quarters of an inch okay let's hit escape and stop this for a second okay let's go have a look at our cross section here okay we're about to draw a flush beam right inside of here okay there's our top of second floor okay and there's where our beams gonna go right inside of this space right here Okay, and then we're going to have another one over here, top of this one, 
and that must be going through a door. Yeah, we're seeing some framing. So there's the two beams we're about to draw. Okay, and it's easiest to draw it from the main floor, but it's not going to be on the main floor. It's going to be above the main floor, right? So here we go. Beam. Pick your type. Okay, and then what we're going to do is say, um, no, it's not the top of main, it's top of second. Okay, you can't set an elevation. Uh, extension here is a is a lateral extension, not a vertical extension. So I'm not sure why, but you cannot set the offset till after the fact. Okay, so watch what we're going to do. We're going to say, okay, well, it's going to go up above me. So I'm also going to get a warning here saying I can't see what I've just drawn. So I want to pick on here. I want to go right down the center of this wall. And we'll need a header over this window. Click. There's my beam. None of the create elements are visible in this view. That's fine. Hit escape, escape. We can ignore that warning and we're going to do it again. Zoom in over here. We're going to go beam. Save project, sure. I'm going to pick my beam type, set it up at the second floor level, hover in here, snap to the center of that wall, zoom out, nice and straight. I'm going to need another header above that window, the same warning, who cares. Thank you very much. Escape, escape. And now I double click on my section and I zoom in and there's the beam I just drew. So that beam's okay, but the problem is I need to set this. See this offset? Minus 0.75. Actually, I, yes, minus 0.75 inches. Okay. And I'm going to go Control C because you can slope it by offsetting either end. So Control C and then Control V. Boom. Now that beam is down inside of there. I've got my thin lines on. If I do TL, you'll see thick lines there. Okay, so there's my beam there, and then this one's the same thing. I'm going to go into here and change this control V minus 0.75, control V minus 0.75, and my beam moves down. Okay, there's my two beams. So let's go have a look at that in 3D. Okay, shift middle mouse button, grab this, hide it. Hide the element. Uh, let's let's hide all this stuff. We're learning here. Uh, let's hide the elements. Okay, and click on here. And in fact, if I just click on it, my floor goes transparent, and there's my beam. Okay. Now we're going to add in some posts. We'll put another beam underneath. That's it for now.